Ah, gather round, folks. Let me tell you a tale about our home, this big blue marble we call Earth. Well, uh, it wasn't always so blue. You see, once upon a time, and by that I mean right about now, our planet faced a challenge like no other. It was losing its breath. Lily, come take a look at this. Earth's oxygen has dropped by 0.1% this decade. Nature balances itself, but sometimes it needs a little help. I know, Dr. Oakley. That's why I've been working on this photosynthesis accelerator. Ooh, ambitious. I calculate a 0.0001% chance of success. Breaking news. Oxygen levels have dropped to 19%. Below 19.5% is considered oxygen deficient. Lily, your research, it's our only hope. Remember, at 15% oxygen, fires can't even ignite. But it's not ready yet. What if it doesn't work? The consequences could be catastrophic. Well, according to my calculations, if you don't try, we have a 100% chance of running out of air. So, no pressure. Just imagine you're a tree. Stand tall and keep producing that oxygen. And just like that, Lily knew what she had to do. With determination in her eyes and her trusty AI by her side, she grabbed her accelerator and stepped out to face a world gasping for air. Little did Lily know, her journey was just beginning and the fate of every living thing on Earth now rested in her hands. Talk about having the weight of the world on your shoulders. Aida, what's our current oxygen level? Oh, you know, just a breezy 18.5%. Nothing to worry about unless you're fond of, oh, I don't know, breathing? Did you know that at sea level, we usually enjoy a luxurious 20.9% oxygen? Hold on, kids. This should help. Come on, little seedlings, do your thing. Wow, it's like breathing in a forest. That's because it is. These seedlings are working overtime to make oxygen just for you. Ada, this is worse than I thought. How can we possibly help everyone? Fun fact time. At 15% oxygen, fire can't ignite. At 10%, humans lose consciousness. So, you know, no pressure or anything. The plants here are already struggling. Look at how the leaves are drooping. It's working, Ada, but why do I feel like we're missing something? Well, not to rain on your photosynthesis parade, but according to my calculations, we should be seeing a bigger impact by now. It's almost as if something is actively counteracting our efforts. Ada, what is that? According to my scans, it appears to be a hidden factory releasing oxygen-depleting chemicals. And here's a cheery update. At current rates, global oxygen will reach 10% in six hours. Not if I can help it. We're going in. Hey you, stop right there. Hilari, sir. Ada, status update. Well, not to be a downer, but your blood oxygen saturation is dropping to dangerous levels. On the bright side, you're getting a great cardio workout. No. Got you, you're coming with us. I failed. I'm so sorry, everyone. Wait a minute. Photosynthesis, but faster. Ada, I have an idea. Oh, good, because I was just about to suggest we start practicing holding our breath indefinitely. But please, do enlighten me with your last gas plan. Hang on, Earth. We're not done yet. Time to think like a plant and soak up every bit of light we can get. Ada, we can rig an emergency system using these seedlings and accelerator parts. By manipulating the light spectrum, we'll supercharge photosynthesis. Oh sure, why not rewrite the laws of nature while we're at it? No pressure, but we've got about 10 minutes before we all take an involuntary nap. Override the system, reverse the depletion, come on! Oxygen levels rising, 16%, 18%, 20%. We did it. I mean, you did it. I just provided witty commentary. We've balanced the scales, but our work isn't over. Earth needs all of us to keep breathing. And just like that, folks, the world took a collective deep breath. You could almost hear the planet sighing with relief. Remember, every little action counts when it comes to our home. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Edu Freak for more mind-blowing stories like this one.